Unit 6, Lesson 12, Meaning of Exponents. Number 1. Select all expressions that are equivalent to 64. A. 2 to the 6th power. That means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 2 is 4. So you have three sets of 2 times 2. That's the same as 4 times 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 equals 16. 16 times 4 equals 64. So A, 2 to the 6th power, equals 64. I know it's not going to be B, because A is 2 to the 6th power, and that equals 64. So 2 to the 8th power is going to be way too big. Let's try C. 4 to the 3rd power. 4 times 4 times 4. That's the same as 16 times 4 and 16 times 4 is 64. So C, 4 to the third power equals 64. D, 8 to the second power. That means 8 times 8, and that equals 64. The values for expressions E and F would be way bigger than 64. So the expressions that I selected that are equivalent to 64 are A, C, and D. Number 2. Select all the expressions that equal 3 to the 4th power. 3 to the 4th power looks like 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is the same as 9 times 9, or 81. Obviously, we can select D because the value for D is 81. 7 is too small, so we're not going to select A. 12 is too small, we're not going to select C. 64 is too small, we're not going to select E. B looks like it could, let's test it out. 4 times 4 times 4, or 16 times 4. That equals 64. That's also too small. Let's look at F. 9 squared, or 9 to the second power. That means 9 times 9, and 9 times 9 is 81. So the expressions that I chose that equal 3 to the fourth power are D and F. Number 3. 4 to the 5th power is equal to 1024. Evaluate the following expressions. A. 4 to the 6th power. Well, if 4 to the 5th power is equal to 1024, then 4 to the 6th power would be 1024 times 4, which is 4096. B. 4 to the 4th power. Well, if 4 to the 5th power is 1024 and 4 to the 4th power would be 4 to the 5th power divided by 4 or 1024 divided by 4. The reason why we would have to divide by 4 is so that we can undo the extra multiplication. 4 to the 5th power was equal to 1024 but we're dealing with 4 to the 4th power that means that we need to undo that extra multiplication where it was multiplied by 4 one too many times. So we would divide by 4. So 4 to the 5th divided by 4. Or 1024 divided by 4. And that equals 256. C. 4 to the 3rd power times 4 to the 2nd power. That's actually the same as 4 to the 5th power. If you add the exponents, 3 plus 2, you get 5. Let's break it down like this. 4 to the 3rd power equals 4 times 4 times 4. And then you insert the multiplication sign, and then you break down 4 to the second power. That's 4 times 4. Let's add them up and look at it. 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. That's the same as 4 to the fifth power. But let's continue breaking it down. 4 times 4 times 4 is the same as 16 times 4, or 64. And 4 times 4 is 16. So 64 times 16 is 1024, which is equal to 4 to the 5th power. Number 4. 6 to the 3rd power equals 216. Using exponents, write three more expressions whose value is 216. There's many examples to come up with, but I came up with 6 to the 2nd power times 6. 6 to the 4th power divided by 6, and 6 to the 5th power divided by 6 to the 2nd power. Number 5. 
Find two different ways to rewrite 3xy plus 6yz using the distributive property. Remember, 3xy means 3 times x times y, and 6yz means 6 times y times z. I wrote four examples for you to choose from. My first example is 3y times x plus 2z. My second example is 3 times xy plus 2yz. My third example is half y times 6x plus 12z. And my last example is y times 3x plus 6z. Number 6. Solve each equation. A. A minus 2 and 1 hundredth equals 5 and 5 tenths. We're solving for A. A minus 2 and 1 hundredth equals 5 and 5 tenths. Well, if we're solving for A, we have to get the A by itself. Since the expression has 2 and 1 hundredth subtracted from A, we need to add 2 and 1 hundredth back to A so that we have A all by itself. So a minus 2 and 1 hundredth plus 2 and 1 hundredth equals a. On the other side, we also need to add 2 and 1 hundredth. So 5 and 5 tenths plus 2 and 1 hundredth equals 7 and 51 hundredths. So a equals 7 and 51 hundredths. b. b plus 2 and 1 hundredths equals 5 and 5 tenths. Since they added 2 and 1 hundredths to b, we have to take away 2 and 1 hundredths from that side of the equation to get b by itself. So b plus 2 and 1 hundredths minus 2 and 1 hundredths equals b. We need to do the same thing to the other side. So 5 and 5 tenths minus 2 and 1 hundredths equals 3 and 49 hundredths. b equals 3 and 49 hundredths. C. 10C equals 13 and 71 hundredths. So they had multiplied C by 10. So we'll have to undo that by dividing it by 10. So 10C divided by 10 equals C. Now we need to do the same thing to the other side of this equation. 13 and 71 hundredths divided by 10 is going to be 10 times smaller. So really we're moving the decimal over one place to the left and that makes 1 and 371 thousandths. So C equals 1 and 371 thousandths. D. 100D equals 13 and 71 hundredths. This expression has D being multiplied by 100. To undo that, we'll divide it by 100. So 100D, or 100 times D, divided by 100 equals D. We have to do the same thing to the other side of this equation. 13 and 71 hundredths divided by 100 equals 1,371 ten thousandths. So D equals 1,371 ten thousandths, or 0.1371. Number seven, which expressions represent the total area of the large rectangle? Select all that apply. Here's a look at the two rectangles stacked on top of each other. It's as if we had one rectangle that was six times M and a second rectangle which is six times N. If we were to add those together, we would have six M plus six N. Another way to look at that would be six times m plus n or 6 times n plus m. And the fourth way that I have listed down there in the bottom right hand corner is m plus n times 6. So I selected a 6 times m plus n, c 6n plus 6m, and e n plus m times 6. 8. Is each statement true or false? Explain your reasoning. A. 45 over 100 times 72 equals 45 over 72 times 100. I like to use easy examples like the one I wrote below to help me better figure these out. 10 over 5 times 2 equals 4. 
Well, that's the same as 10 divided by 5, which is 2, and then 2 times 2 equals 4. And then what they did is they rearranged these numbers so that we had 10 over 2 times 5 equals 25. So 10 divided by 2 equals 5, and 5 times 5 equals 25. And since 4 and 5 are not equal, the same thing will happen in A. 45 divided by 100 times 72 will not equal 45 divided by 72 times 100. So I wrote that this statement is false. B. 16% of 250 is equal to 250% of 16. The word of means times, so I can look at this as 16 hundredths times 250, and that equals 40. And I can look at 250% of 16 as 2 and 5 tenths times 16, and that also equals 40. So this is true. Notice I wrote 16% as 16 hundredths, and I wrote 250% as 2 and 5 tenths. If you imagine 250% as a fraction, it would be 250 over 100, which would be 250 hundredths. And if you think about it, 2 and 5 tenths is actually 250 hundredths, or 25 tenths, or 2 and 5 tenths. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 6, Lesson 12, Meaning of Exponents. Mm -hmm.